Hello. My name is Nesbitt. Evelyn Nesbitt. You're the new trainee that Mr. Fetter contracted in order to replace me when I leave New York. Is this correct? I thought so. As my last responsibilities to Mr. Fetter, I thought I owed him to help him out with his photo shoots. I thought that I should kind of put my part in to help those that are going to be taking a photo shoot get ready for the scene, basically. From what I heard, or from what I was instructed by Mr. Fetter, though, is that you're going to be a woodland nymph. That was a role that I played a lot during my time with him. I was either a woodland nymph, a Roman goddess, a... What else was I? I did archetype the Gibson girl, or I did make the Gibson girl quite popular. Um, I forgot what other roles I played. However, those were mostly painted. It wasn't until later in my career that I started getting my photo taken. The people, the women nowadays, have it so fortunate. They can be photographed rather than painted. However, I do agree with the fact that a photograph is, ironically, very impermanent. But a portrait can capture your soul. So, I do, I do enjoy my portrait being painted, but you have to stand there for hours and hours and hours on end for days. While someone captures your likeness, while with a photograph you know what you look like, and you can keep it forever. And it's an instantaneous, perfect portrait. But, once again, it doesn't have the magical qualities that a portrait has. But, nonsense, nonsense. I'm gonna be getting you ready right now. So I brought some flowers with me, and of course I brought my pot of rouge. I'm gonna be putting a bit on the apples of your cheeks, and then I'm going to be assorting certain little sticks like this um, around your hair, and also in your hair, of course. And I'm also gonna be taking these little fake flowers that look very pretty, if, you, if I don't say so myself, or if I do say so myself. And I'm gonna be putting them in your hair as well, just like around the areas. I always find flowers to, in hairs to be very beautiful. And so I have my own little flowers in my hair. I like wearing flowers in my hair. Either that or I like wearing my hair in a question mark. Because as the Gibson girls know, an air of mysteriousness yet independence and confidence is our key characteristics. But heaven forbid us being like those new women of the nowadays. The new women of the nowadays, the suffragettes of course, they're a little too rebellious for me. The Gibson girl is just quite right, at least for my temperament. Nonetheless, I'm rambling on like some sort of spinster. Here, let me just sort this flower out for you. Make it very lovely, like yourself. And then put it in my hair. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one right. see if I can get it correctly. I keep hitting your headband, I do apologize. It'll do. We're not looking for perfection. We're looking for confidence, and as long as you can work something that looks grotesque, it'll make you even more beautiful than if you were trying to model in something that ended up looking beautifully perfect. It's making do with what you have, even the most grotesque of features or the most grotesque of characteristics, and walking proudly and confidently with those characteristics that make people beautiful, not what is considered perfection. And it takes more work to value the former rather than the latter. 
This one has a bit of an imperfection in and of itself as well. So I'm trying to figure out how I should place this in your hair without nipping you a little bit with these little fake plastic. It'd be nice if this flower spread out a little more. Let me see if I can just twirl the little leaves around the stem. That way, it doesn't scratch at you. I think you, I think there should be sort of, actually, let me just spread it out a little more. That way we can see the little middle part right there. The reproductive organs of the flower. How sensual. I just want to spread it out a little more. Make sure there's a good little detail like that around every corner of your photo. Something else worth noting rather than just the face. And then, how many sticks did I bring? I brought five more. So, I brought five more sticks, and then three more flowers, so. Let me just put in this stick in your hair. Let me try to avoid your headband. Okay. There we go. This one also has that little problem of the stem being, or rather the leaves being twisted, and they should be straight as an arrow, as the wonderful environment we're now living in beneath King Edward's rule. Now that Queen Victoria's out of the off the throne, God rest her soul. But she was quite to say the least, when it came to a lot of things, including pots of rouge. She said it belonged to the lower class ladies, if you understand what I'm, my meaning. Not to mention uh, all of her rules of proper etiquette. They would bore anyone to death. I guess that's a resident, a residue rather, of her being a child during the last years of the Regency period. I'm trying to flatten out these little petals, but they're not going down. Once one goes down, the other one pops up. Oh well, once again, We'll have to settle for imperfection. Let me just see if I can just put this right here. And fix the leaves that are accumulating down here. so far. Looking like a nice little woodland nymph. As you should look like. 
considering how that is your role. It is quite glorious to think about how many inventions and innovations and revolutions we've gone through during this time, during the turn of the century. We have the phonograph now, cars are being distributed, or mass marketed rather. Electricity of course, oil is affordable and available to the masses, thanks to the lovely Mr. John D. Rockefeller. Hopefully I marry a millionaire. It'd be nice to marry a millionaire. I'm sure nothing will go wrong with marrying a millionaire. Except, of course, if you're Christian. Then the materialism starts to play a part in that game. Let me just put this little stick right. Oh, your flower. Let me adjust your flower. Two more flowers to go, and you're all set. But which one? I like how this one doesn't have that problem with the stem curving like a question mark, but um, this one does. However, because I like this one, I think I'm gonna reserve it for the last, because you save the best for last. Wow, this one, I'll put this in now. But it's also the leafiest, so that's a problem. Where might have put the most curved and leafiest flower in your lovely hair? Which as a Gibson girl you have plenty of. I would think it would be nice to put it on the top of your head. But I think I'll reserve the loveliest flower for that privilege. where to put it in your lovely hair. I think it would be best if I put it right here. Okay, and just make sure the nice petals are away from the center of the flower. And then... a little twig that you should put in your hair to make it get, look even more woodland. We're not aiming for perfection. We're aiming for a sort of dreamy, nymphette sort of look. Is nymphette even a word? It should be. It has a nice ring to it. Hopefully someone turns it into a word. But until then, I'll claim it as my own. So, for the prettiest flower, I think I'm going to put it in the top of your head. So just right above your head. Just right. Perfect. And then I still have two twigs to sort out. So for this first twig, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting it 
right here. And not toss your flower. I don't want to mess up the work I've already done. There we go. And then for this last one, I think I'm going to put it at the top of your head as well. Actually, I'll pull that one out and put it back on the top of your head as well, so... You're looking gorgeous. Now, let me just get my pot of rouge so I can put a little bit of blush on the apples of your cheeks. going to be brushing. Would you mind um, swallowing your cheeks, please? Just so that way the top of your cheeks are a little more pronounced. Thank you. So I'm just going to be brushing this on. Once again, I'm very glad that Queen Victoria's rules are no longer taken into consideration anymore. Hopefully, the times continue to better and we see a new renovation within the modern world, gearing us towards a more socially free environment. Where women can wear however much makeup they want to a point where it completely changes the structure of their face even and not be looked down for it like Queen Victoria would now once again I'm just going to put a little more on this cheek that way it gives you a very radiant and blushing glow it makes it, it, makes it seem as if you're very lively considering how signifies that there's blood coursing through your veins. Let me just brush it off on my wrist. And then I'm going to be working on the other cheek. So, Once again, would you mind sucking in your cheeks for me, please? Thank you. Just gonna be working on the apples of your cheeks. And then just a little more. just wipe off some of the excess and then some of the excess on this side. Okay, lovely. Let me just wipe off the rest and you are all set for your photo shoot with Mr. Better. Is there anything else that you think you'd like for me to help you with? 
such as putting a little more rouge onto your cheeks, or if, I, if you'd like, I can go out and find some more flowers to make you feel more like the woodland nymph that you should be feeling at right now. Okay, if you need me to go look for some more flowers, don't hesitate to ask.